Welcome race fans, this is Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the, of the, uh, the South Point, no, no, yeah, the South Point Casino 400 live here in Texas Motor Speedway for the running of the Hatch Beach Cup Series, Chase Race 2, or Chase Race 3, excuse me, uh, I didn't mention this last race, but we have a new driver that's coming out of the field right now, that is the 5 of Daniel Torres, so be expecting him out in the track, doing some laps, he's a rookie, so he might start in the back, so I'll take to the race. Your sit pole sitter is going to be Raymond Fisher for the second time in the second week in a row. Followed Driver, by James Bowles. He is fourth in the chase points. Seeker Marley, third, second, or fourth would be the two of Malik Nevins. Blake Steiner, fifth. Alec Fonz Jackson, sixth. Michael Collins, third in points. He will be starting seventh. Barney Taylor is uh, fifth. He will be fifth in points. He'll start uh, back in eighth, eighth position. Xavier Hernandez will be 9th, John Hartford 2nd in points, Paul Parker will be in 11th. Looking for your points there, Jake Booker, who is being in the 14th position, that, that's a bad uh, run for him. Raymond Fisher going 2 in a row, trying to get rid of this bad luck for this season, trying to get something going for the next season. We'll hope to see that. As they're letting them hear it. Here we go. One of the important races of the season. Texas Motor Speedway. I recall a car flipped in the air. Well, the green flag in the air for the South Point Casino 400. There we go. Michael Collins out on the inside of the 24. Blake Steiner. Here comes Michael Collin, trying to get up to the front, trying to get some points going on. Look at Raymond Fisher. Trying to get away. Here comes Michael Collin, the 11, and not, he just made up like, what, five spots. He'll lead that first lap for Raymond Fisher. Three wide uh, for just like six, I think. Michael Collin looking on the inside. Ooh, we got some cars up on the wall. Caution is out. Let's see who's evolving. Jake Booker's is not in it. That's a good thing. Oh, it's evolving. Bobby Yev. He is in the points. He is. Ah, shit. He's in. Fuck. He's six in points because we add him in. He is a provisional driver in Bobby Alphonse Jackson's evolve. Let's see what happened. Oh, we got a car flipped over. That's John Harford. He's second in points. Oh, Alphonse, I think he goes up the track and flips over. Wow. Um, Bobby F. I don't know what he was involved in. John Hartford's and we dropped down a couple points. That's his teammate, the 16. Oh, the 9 was involved. I didn't see that. So let's look up at this one. So these guys are racing. And they're racing it hard, too. Bobby F is the Richmond and the Atlanta winner. I think the nine or the nine goes up the track and into the sixteen. I think it was a spotter issue. Ooh, so that's what happened. So the sixteen didn't turn him. Back out on the track again. We'll see what's going on. I remember Fisher won Las Vegas last week. Well, he go two in a row because, you know, he's not in the championship spot. He's been having bad luck this season. And, you know, this guy's trying to get something going for next season. It's this guy's teammate, Paul Parker, in the 91 in third place. Yeah, so let's get back to the, uh, green flag runs. Okay, so our lights are off the same way. Okay, so our lights are off and to the pit road. The 12th will be starting on the inside. Because he's a lap down green flying out.
Alright, here comes Michael Collin on the inside. Michael Collin leads slap seven. Raymond Fisher out the hang. But he's got his teammate Paul Parker all over the back of the 11 and Michael Collin. Look at him, the 91 takes over the lead from the 11. Here goes Barney Taylor, he is fifth in, or fourth in, or, yeah, fifth in points. He's trying to get something going to get his points run out and underway. Look at that. Park Parker is, all, is out of the way. Job for Everham Motorsports. He, Everham just got two in a row last week at Sonoma and Las Vegas. Paul Parker not trying to let that happen to Joe Gibbs as we have seven to go, it looks like, the same by. Will Paul Parker make it to the end of the field and try to win his first career win? I get three in a row for all of the Everham Motorsports cars. He's got to worry about that championship contender, Michael Holland, who's in the back, right behind him. I love it now, 17 laps out. Let's go ahead and look at the back of the field, see what's happening. If Brandon Fisher dropped down to sixth, and um, Malik Nevins is in front of him, he's fifth, James Bowles is in the fourth day, he'll be fourth, Barney Taylor third, Michael Collins second, and Paul Parker first. Paul Parker's gotta worry about that number 11. As he's gaining on him so fast and so quickly. on the back bumper of the dot what's far let's ride on the dodge back bumper cam and see what how far the car is towards um I call it, uh power park He's gaining a little bit on him, but he's slowly getting up there. Now for fifth, it looks like. Graham Fisher. Uh, Jim Bowles. Look at that. Look at that. The two is going after, for third place, Malik Nevins. From 29. Very good. That would have been a close... And that was the first one on the left of the race, and those two were in front. Of I don't know who would win that. And it's a dead tie. We have like four eight. It's a little bit of the wall there. Here comes Jake Booker. He is he is getting the points lead back from I believe John Hartford. Well, John Hartford wrecked, so he's got some more points for killing and getting up on them right now. Who else is in? There? Right now, the 40 will be up the move the third in points, and my McCollum will be up to second as they're catching a lot of traffic up here off on Jackson. Ooh. Final lap this time by, actually. Will Paul Parker have enough time to win his first race? He does. Checker flag in the air for that, that young kid of that 21 car. Paul Parker wins at Texas.
Wow, what a race for Paul Parker and Abraham Motorsports. I mean, you cannot buy write a better script than that. Jake Whitaker still regains the points and lead. Look at that. I mean, what a happy team these guys are. Three in a row for Everham Motorsports. That's never been done before. Paul Parker is now a winner. Brandon Hernandez, who wrecked on the first lap, he is a winner from Sonoma. L Las Vegas winner, Raymond Fisher. He will go for the fifth, fifth place finish. Well, guys, that's the race. We'll see you guys next week at Charlotte, North Carolina.